Yo, what's happening? It's your man Valentine, baby. Come here, you're on the grind. We're going to sit down with the lovely, talented Miss Sarah Kay. Thank you, you so much. Thanks How for having doing? me. In the business of entertainment and music, yeah. do you think, is there, is there parody in the music business for women? In a way. Um, I think we kind of have an, an advantage over yeah men, yeah. I think, just because I think music involves image too, and I think, you know, women are more marketable in that department, mm -hmm. but if you have talent on top of that, I think that's more powerful. Exactly. So if you have those two qualities, I think that's a great advantage. Nice. Yeah. Now, why is it harder for Canadian artists to be discovered? I don't know if I completely agree with that. I yeah. actually used to think that. Mm -hmm back in the day because my genre is R&B soul and I thought, right. you know, no one listens to R&B soul here. So, yeah. you know, I used to travel a lot. I used to go to New Orleans. I used to go to New York and, you know, I see a lot of musicians and I used to think, this is where I should be. But there's more competition. Mm -hmm. I believe that if you establish yourself in your own city and you prepare yourself as an artist, you're more likely to be successful when you step out of your city. Okay. Okay. So that's how I see it. Now, if you weren't an artist, what would you be? If I wasn't an artist? Yeah. I would definitely be an interior designer, fashion designer. I actually went to school for that, too. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very into design and clothing. and Yeah. You, you can't just be a pretty face no more, huh? No. <laughs> now, is there a platform where undiscovered artists, I mean, like yourself, can yeah. go to showcase themselves? Oh, is yeah. That? Definitely. Um, there are many opportunities when you can perform open mic. Right. Open mic is a great way to practice your stage presence and and um, yeah, you never know who's going to be watching. Exactly. Um, opening for acts, you know. I think that's that's how I started. Right. Um, I actually met Carry On. I know you had yep. her at the sh on the show. She, um, performing for her with her and opening for her opened more doors for me in the club scene, and that's how it all started for right. me, so. Now, I mean, what does this moment mean to you right now, being here? This is another great moment for me just because this is my first television appearance. Right. So this is definitely one of those moments where I'm like, okay, my hard work is paying off. I just have to keep going. Consistency is so important, right. like so important because, you know, I'm, constantly for years and years you know I just had this image of where I wanted to be in the music scene and you know I had people who inspired me and Mariah Carey was a big inspiration to me she came from nothing to something big right. and I remember when I was 14 I was reading her biography and I was like this you know following her her steps and how she got to where she was right. you know even even though she's this amazing talented person people didn't believe that she was gonna make it mm -hmm. So, you know, just having that positive inspiration, knowing that you, Cinderella stories do, can happen. Exactly. If you're constantly, you know. Well, we're, we're glad you're here. Yeah. Because we want to showcase everybody. Yeah, that's And that's true. the key. And this is where On the Grind is, that's what On the Grind is right. about. Yeah. And, I mean, how do you feel like, I mean, what do you feel like being a role model? How do I feel like being yeah. a role model? How do you feel about being oh, a role model? Oh, I think that's amazing. That's, that's one of the m reasons why I want to be known as an artist because I believe that music is an international language mm -hmm. and you can touch people with music. Um, a I write a lot of my own stuff. Okay. So I write about, I don't just write about love, but I write about, you know, proving haters wrong or people who doubt you, <laughs> just things like that. You know, I have a song called Fly. That's what it's about. Okay. But it's very positive. It's, it's liberating. It's about overcoming obstacles in your life and and you know just believing in yourself no right. matter what nice and you know yeah I, I write about a lot of different things okay so. now <laughs> we want to get to the on the grind question because mm -hmm. it's important being on the grind mm -hmm. and all the people out there all the women right. the ladies little girls whatever trying to be in your shoes right not getting any love from nobody right I mean what can you tell them to inspire them to stay on the grind just you know, just always have that vision of where you want to be at the end. And it, I mean, it never ends, but <laughs> just always have that vision and just just don't give up. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. If I could have given up a long time ago. Right. And, I, you know, I've seen people who have made it and I've seen people who haven't made it because they've just, they just gave up along the way. So right. just always believe in yourself. Just 
that's where my motivation comes from, knowing okay. what my, where I want to be musically. And also um, knowing, it, for me, it's like it's so important to be able to touch people with my music. Right. And that's my, my ultimate um, motivation. Okay. So that's what keeps me going. Cool. <laughs> now, the song you're going to perform for us today is called mm -hmm. what? It's called Hands Up. Hands Up. And now, what's the inspiration behind that? So, Hands Up is a club song. Okay. And um, it's about, you know, leaving your worries behind that night and just going out with your friends mm -hmm. and celebrating your success and your accomplishments and looking good in the club, you know, <laughs> stealing the swagger from every guy that you see and okay. just kind of like just, you know, making a scene with a girl, with your girls and right. having fun and... Yeah. Nice. Nice. You got an album or EP <laughs> coming out or something? Yes, I do have an EP um, that's going to be released in early fall. Okay. So. How can they get it? Oh, I'll give you. Okay. I'll, I'll, don't I'll, worry. You're yeah. going to get I'm going to get one. Yeah, you're going to get everybody one. Everybody else on the planet, we want we want them to go out and get it too. Yeah, so iTunes, iTunes. iTunes, yeah. Okay. And you and I, you can always go to my website, sarahk.ca. Okay. I always post everything there. So Nice. Now, how were you discovered, though? Let's get that in quickly. Oh, it's a long story. <laughs> and shorten it up real quick. You got two minutes. You got a minute and a half. Well, okay. How am I going to summarize this? <laughs> okay, so um, my boyfriend, Chris, okay. just started his, just launched his label. Right. And um, I'm the main artist he manages. Okay. But we actually met, we became really good friends before right. anything. And then he, he used to manage an art gallery years ago. Mm -hmm. So, he, and then we... Um, I guess he was motivated to start his own label. Nice. And then from there, we were doing shows. Um, yeah. Okay. He had, he had two shows not too long ago, um, a charity event called August Town. And it's okay. uh, to raise money to build a church in Jamaica, in Kingston, Jamaica. Hey, nice. Yeah. You see? We're all Jamaican, you know? Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> That's a good little story. Now, you got a minute left to tell me okay. about how you want to be remembered in the, in the game after you leave. Uh, I want to be remembered by my honesty, like in my through my music, um, being able to, you know, express myself through my music, things that, you know, will have people relate to, and and being able to be looked up at and say, oh, this girl helped me get through this this situation in my life because of her music, nice. and yeah. Okay. <laughs> Miss Sarah Kay, I want to thank you for coming. Thank you for it's having been a pleasure. me. I really appreciate it. And we're going to get thank ready you. to listen to you sing. Okay, sounds right. good. Nice. <laughs>
That was our girl, Sarah Kay. Nice job. Thank you so much for having me, Valentine. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. I can be reached, man. How can people reach you? Um, you can reach me at Sarah K Sings. That's on Twitter. Right. And Sarah K dot C A. Facebook? Facebook, you can search my name, Sarah with an H, S A R A H. Last name is K A R K O U C H. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming, man. Thank you nice. so much. It was a pleasure. Thank Next you. up, Omar Sagato, Bank of Whitecaps. Let's get it done. <laughs>